The Economics of Chicken Farming with guests Jenny Rhodes and Andrew McLean. Can you tell us a little bit about the economics of uh, growing a ch or uh, having a chicken farm? Sure. Um, the industry here on Delmarva is about a $2 billion wholesale industry. Uh, there's 20,000 people directly employed in the poultry industry. And the multiplier effect on that is 7.2, which means about 140,000 jobs are related to the poultry industry here on Delmarva. That's huge. Um, so it's, it's the largest industry on the Eastern Shore. It is the number one economic activity in 10 of the 14 counties that comprise the Delmarva Peninsula. Uh, from an indi individual grower's perspective, um, New housing cost about $350,000 to put up a new house. When you say a new house, that's a chicken house that's that a new holds chicken how house. many chickens? Uh, it depends on what kind of chickens you're growing, but it's going to hold about 34,000 roasters. Hmm. Um, and if you're growing broilers, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold closer to 45 to 50,000 broilers, which are the smaller birds. Uh, if you think about it, what's interesting, when Mrs. Steele and Cecile still sold her chickens, the first ones, that equates to um, about a $5.50 <laughs> per pound cost today. Whoa. Right now we're getting, uh, the, the <laughs> companies are getting about 80 cents per pound. So, you know, the economies of scale of this have taken off so that it is the least expensive meat product, meat that you can buy. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, it's just, you know, uh, we supply such a, a large area and that's part of the reason that it, the industry started here is because we have close access to the Baltimore, uh, New York, that's the big one, New York, Boston, Philadelphia markets. And uh, it came in right after the, you know, the railroad was here, but right after they put in roads, that's when it came in. As far as individual growers, again, you have the cost of the housing and then you also have electric, that's our number one uh, cost. Um, taxes and insurance. Taxes, each chicken house pays about $1,000 a year in property taxes. And can I tell you, not a single one of those chicks that I've ever seen has gone to school <laughs> or been in trouble with the law or anything but like that. But they're smart chickens. <laughs> well, I guess, <laughs> so, you know, they're good, they're good chicks. Okay. But, uh, <laughs> they are good chicks. <laughs> but, um, you know, so it's quite a boon to the local economies when we do that. If you think about it, my brother and I took 10 acres of farmland, which, you know, is productive farmland, but we put up these six chicken houses. And if you, if you work backwards from the number of people that are employed, we actually support or created about 25 jobs, um, not to mention the people that are building the chicken houses. So, you know, it's a, it's a win for the economy. So that's six, for the six economy. acres. And 